Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Wednesday, the 6th of April. With Robert Murray McShane, we read Proverbs chapter 24 today. Uh, we've had 30 sayings of the wise, and now we have uh, further sayings of the wise. And the passage, uh, the chapter ends with the following. I went past the field of a sluggard, past the vineyard of someone who has no sense. Thorns had come up everywhere. The ground was covered with weeds, and the stone wall was in ruins. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. And as I thought about that, I recognize that there's a huge level of truth in that, and so often people are happy to put off. We procrastinate. Well, certainly I do. I'm a very good procrastinator. I need to do this, but tomorrow's as good as today. And so you end up with the weeds coming up, and that will lead you into poverty. A little rest, a little too much rest, and things can go wrong. But at the same time, I think in our world today, there are so many people that are driven and pressured and, and feel that they've got to keep going, they've got to do more. They're comparing themselves with everyone else, and we can't stop We've got to work uh, eight hour day, forget eight hours. We've got to do 10 or 12 hours a day. One day, no, we don't. We work tw uh, 24 seven, as they say. And that's become the maximum of, maximum of the world today. And we actually need a balance. And we look at the, uh, the laws of God and he says, take the Sabbath off, do no work on the Sabbath. Now I'm, not, I'm, I'm fairly sure that wasn't because God needed something from the Sabbath and people not working gave him something. Um, indeed, the New, uh, the New Testament, Jesus said, Sabbath, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was given to us as a gift to regulate our life, to, to pace it, to, to take time off, to have a day where you sit and do no work. And that's a challenge to to the world today, which we want everything going all the time for as late as possible so we can make as much as possible. And so as Christians, we need to, to try and walk that line. That We recognize the Proverbs, a little rest, a little procrastination, folding of the hands, and poverty will come on you. But at the same time, we're told, uh, six days shall you labor, and on the seventh shall you rest. And we need that balance in our lives. And it doesn't only apply to work. I think it, we need balance in so many areas of our life. And it's not always easy to achieve. And sometimes uh, we have to continually evolve and tweak and, and change and, and modify what we do to receive some kind of balance. So be challenged that you don't sit and do nothing, but at the same time you do at some time sit and do nothing. And we've got to keep that balance. So I pray that you'll get it right. I certainly try, but I haven't got it right myself. It's an ongoing uh, work in progress. Um, but it's what God calls us to for our good and for his glory. Be blessed.